Nigeria and all the Big Brother Nigerian Season 7 fans got a shocker when we introduced a housemate named Hermes that claimed he was peacefully in the relationship with two ladies and the two ladies knew themselves and they were fine with the relationship. Hello and greetings from the Eccentric Side Podcast. You are welcome to the Eccentric Side. Now, today we are going to be talking about a series of things that comprises of relationship between one or more partners. If you are new here, thanks for joining. Please subscribe to the Eccentric Side Plus so this family can grow. And I'm not doing this today alone. I'm here with a friend. Back to the Eccentric Side. Blessing of Para. Thank you. Thank you. So, let's see. You heard of the story, obviously. Yes, I did. About Hermes that said they are two girlfriends. Yes. Now, that kind of relationship, can you be one of those girlfriends? You know I'm the first. If you are the first. Yeah. So if we were dating and I came to you and I said, not marriage, but I came to you and said that I want to have a second girlfriend, you wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind because if you don't have a problem for me to have another man. Come on, <laughs> so it's an open relationship. Then no, it's not an open relationship. Then no. It is that me, you, and one other girl would decide to be in a relationship together. It's not as if it's an open relationship that everybody can date so whoever they want to date. What is good for the man is also good for the woman. Well, I think in his defense, he may say that. It's not about being a man or being a woman. It's that everybody understands that the three is not a relationship for two, but a relationship for three. It's not about opening up the relationship, but when they close relationship, or instead of with two parties, it is with three parties. So that's it. that may be Hermes's reason for his relationship. I don't know, and I've not researched it but that is his um that may be his reasoning for um being in such a relationship so if that is the case you cannot be in that kind of relationship i can't that's a very going to make it an open relationship what is good for you is also good for me okay so let's turn it around can you get two girls of course yes so if it is the other way that me and another guy says, okay, we are agree, let both of us date you together. You can do something. Yes. I don't understand. So why can you be doing this thing to people? I don't want your boyfriend to date two ladies. The fact that I'm dating to people, definitely we are going to be in a relationship. Because I can still date more. Oh, so your own is that you are not saying that if you, you can date two people, it's not a matter of Two people and that's the end. The only is opening everything up. Yes. You can date multiple. I can also date multiple. Yes. Wow. That is a that is a good type of relation. Let me know your comments in the comment section below and don't forget to like, drop your comments in the comment section and subscribe to the Eccentric Side Plus. So let's take the discussion a step further. Now, what if this situation were not dating but marriage? So your your husband comes to you. Um, and I don't want to see why can marry someone from a certain religion. I okay, know what your answer may be, but let's leave religion out of this discussion. Your husband comes to you and tells you he actually wants to take a second wife for some reason. See, you are evil, yes? Yes, I am. See, it's a matter of you are giving birth to three, four children and they are all girls and he wants someone to carry on the family of herself. We had evil people on our say. So in that weird situation, what do you do? Would you agree? Hmm. It's not my fault I'm giving birth to female. Okay. True. So if he agree, if he wants to get married to someone else, then I'm free to chat. We're free to do things for once. But he's married. He's not saying he wants to have a child out of the house. He wants to make it. I'm married to someone else. I'm bring. Yep. 
pregnant, I give birth to a male child. What is good for him is good for me. Okay. So you don't think it is right for... Because it's not my fault. Okay. So, you know, he rather he take it or he leave it. He's, if he's going to remarry, then I'm free to get married to another. But I still stand as his first wife. All of us are looking for male children. So, we go, go into the world. <laughs> I multiply, so both of us are going into the world to look for the problem. I look for bring the solution to the house. He's looking for a male child, me too looking for a male child. So if he can get married to another, means I can get married to another. If I see male child from that one, I'll bring it up. If we see male child from that one, we bring it up. We train them together. Life continues. So he can to me, I don't believe that this thinking that only men can cheat. No. If you can do it, I can do it. We are we, we are God created all of us. So let's do the game. The game is good for everyone. So okay. let's do it. Okay, 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 okay. Let's go back. Let's go back. So how about being a second wife? So yes, as a first wife, um, he may want to give you that story of yes, he needs someone to carry the family name, he needs a male child to inherit his properties after he dies. And those um, backward mentality. I'm not saying I support that disclaimer, but if that is his reason, let's leave that one. What if he actually like came to you and is proposing marriage to you to be his second wife? Can you be his second wife? No. No. Why? I've never. I've always wished not to be. A problem to another man's family. The first wife will be depressed and I believe Kama is a bitch. Hello. So uh, it's been come back to my own innocent children and nothing about it. So instead of being a second wife, except if there is no children in that family. Okay, so you can be a second wife if the woman has not given birth for him. So must it be a situation of maybe he's he had been with his first wife for maybe years and he they could not have a child so he wants to marry or what if he say, what if he's just like maybe a year after he gets married and he's like okay he wants to marry his, oh, no. his, his dream is to marry three wives before he oh, dies so no. No. <laughs> what is that called? I can't. <laughs> there must be a reason there that is tangible reason. why he wants to marry a second wife before he can go for it. Yes. Okay, so what are, what are the reasons that you can accept? If they married for 10 years, no child, I could be an verb. Maybe. So you can be a second wife in that situation? Yes. So you can only be a second wife if the first marriage is, is, if it is a childless marriage? Yes. Uh, okay, okay. Um, but, let's see, let's pen the situation for you. Yeah. You are dating, I'll use myself, you're dating me for years. I did not tell you that. When I came to ask you out, I did not tell you I was in him, I was married. I did not tell you I was not married too, but, but I also did not tell you I was married. And then along the line, you found out that, wait, you found out that I was actually married, but you see this situation I'm talking about, I was not able to give birth to my first wife. And I proposed marriage to you. Would you say yes? I'll decline. But it's still the child's Well, you were not truthful. The foundation is spoiled. What would the righteous do? Nothing. I can't help. Was it not tell me, okay, I'm married, but no child? I could help out in being a career of a child, and then I can give it to the wife. So, so you could be a surrogate mother? Yep. Okay. Just to help for the sake of the yes. love. But you don't feel in that situation you'll be emotionally attached to both the child and um, the father of the child, which is your quote-unquote husband. 
you don't think you'll be attached. You think we also just drop the child, drop the man and go and continue your life. Men are everywhere. Children of okay. So you won't be attached to the child? Not really, After I will. I will. I'm not saying I'm not going to see But at least they should, they should give me, like, they should give me two days and then I'll go and see them. Okay, so you'll be fine with just visiting the child? Yes, because I'm going to hear about Okay, okay. Alright, um... There are a lot of topics we are talking about today on the podcast. Let us know your comments in the comment section. And again, don't forget to subscribe. Now, the last segment of the podcast. Let's turn it around. If it was um, a situation where that you are the woman and you choose, your husband does not mind. Can you marry two husbands and make it a, a um, polyhandry marriage? Can you? If my husband don't mind. If your husband does not mind, can you marry two husbands? Hmm. Let me be sincere. Yeah. If the love I have for the man is just 40 percent and I have one ex. Guys, there. <laughs> I have always loved, but I don't know what that one. The truth is, hey, I ain't going back. This one is not going. That's one that I saying no going, but this one is, I am going back. I'm going back to get him. So, they will both live in the same house. Why well, you not? Know, our country doesn't. I don't think our country allows that. They look at it being red, or they say that if charm my son, <laughs> so it's like that. But if it's possible, yes, that, that ex that I have always loved, but once in it, once in we did not end up. And he's not married, and I have the opportunity to come and I'm picking him back. So you can propose to him, I'm married. Straight up. Oh, so you can, propose, you can propose to a guy. Let's continue our relationship <laughs> when we stop. Let's just see. That's it. The truth is, mm. see. My husband gave me this 100% or 90% for okay, me to so date anyone else. I'm questioning you're coming back, I'm not coming back. Peacefully. Mm. If he's coming back, I come back to the wedding. Okay. It's alright. So let us know your comments in the comment section below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Blessing. Thank you very much for coming on the Eccentric Side. Thank you so much. Um, so um, so thank you for watching. We really, really appreciate. Um, as we always say here, till next time we will come your way. From me to you, it's stay eccentric. Oh, goodbye.